Hello and welcome back to my channel Complicated Relationships Reddit Stories. It has been a few days since my last post but I am happy to be back. Now let's see what the story is about today. What if you find out you have been cheated on by your wife who then tried to push you for an open relationship and when you say no, she wants to take your kids back to her country. It's time we listen to the story. Also, if you like what I do, please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. My wife first started talking to this guy last year when he was a young guy and my wife was much older. She became withdrawn, would let a lot of things slide, lose interest in her hobbies, the household, the kids, her friends, me. She admitted to me, in tears, that she had started chatting a guy from a chat line one night when she was bored. They had exchanged contact details, she made a Snapchat just for him and so did he, and they began chatting there regularly. This guy is handsome, he's young, he's an athlete, and he's fit as can be. He's funny, he's awesome. He mesmerizes her, makes her laugh all the time. She finds herself falling for him, and she admits her mistake to me. I am so sad and upset, but I forgive her. She promises to block him, remove her app. Things are cool for a while, but months later, OP finds out that she's still on Snapchat. She says it's for her other friends. I push the issue, turns out she still talks to the guy. I am not okay with this. She says they are just friends. I tell her to block him. She says she does. Around December last year, I discovered she never did block him. Still talks to him. I am so mad. I break into her phone one day, see her Snapchat open and a message from him. I love you, it says. Scroll up more and see a picture of my own wife's top staring me in the face. She sent him that pic for his birthday. Once more, she blocks the guy. I think things are fine, but I'm starting to lose my feelings for my wife. One time around Christmas, my oldest daughter tells me, excitedly, that she had a phone call with Sebastian the Crab. Like the buddy of Ariel, the little mermaid from the Disney movie? I nodded off. I mean, four-year-olds make up things all the time, right? And she has a very rich imagination. She constantly insists she's a real fairy or princess and claims to have magic powers and whatever. I find out just yesterday that my wife never stopped talking to the guy until this past February, when he suddenly ghosted her out of nowhere. Which makes sense, because she was very sad and depressed at the time. She then deleted all her apps and accounts in anger and now has no way of contacting the guy or being contacted by him. Not sure if I even believe that anymore, but sure. She was telling OP what they were doing like she wanted it out of her chest. He just let her talk and talk and she admits to it all. Says she really fell in love with him. Mentions how she read a lot online about open relationships and that she feels like she can love multiple people at once, that her love for me has not diminished by loving another guy. I call it BS. Then, she admits she even had voice calls with the guy at night when I am away. I often work night shift. At times, our oldest daughter would wake up and he'd talk to her too. He sang her to sleep a few times, and he pretended to be Sebastian the Crab, which is what my daughter tried to tell me. I am so insanely angry she would allow herself, as a grown woman, to fall for some boy on the other side of the globe. I am feeling betrayed by the fact that she showed lots of herself to him. What makes me the most mad, however, is that he talked to my daughter. He even saw her picture and a video. He called her Little Dua, like the singer Dua Lipa, because he thinks she looks like a toddler version of that singer. The whole thing is so weird. The fact that he was just very young when my wife and him met online is weird to me. It's all messed up. OP fears she may have wanted to run off with this guy. She talked a lot about the place he lives, California, and he just weirded her out by that too. I don't know what to do. I'm heartbroken. My wife and I have a daughter, four, another daughter, two, and she is currently pregnant as well. She blamed some of her behavior on pregnancy hormones which is nonsense. She also tried to subtly push an open relationship on me as well. I'm so done with her. But I also love our daughters and do not want them to grow up in a broken home. She's gone back to normal in some sense. She does her hobbies, she cares for the kids, and runs the household as before. She is sweet to me, at times. We have good intimacy, 
but most of the time, as much as it pains me to say, I feel nothing. OP felt last year that he had it all. He felt on top of the world, but now he feels he already lost it. Now, here is the update. I have read all the responses to my previous topic, but did not find time to respond and reply to each and every one of them individually. The common thought seems to be that I need to man up and take responsibility of my life, and many have advised me to kick out my wife or seek legal counsel and start gathering evidence. Financially speaking, as a young father of soon-to-be three kids, I cannot just call up a lawyer like that. We are not Americans, and we are not in America either, so I do not know which laws do and do not apply to our situation. The guy she had her emotional affair with, however, is in the States, but they lost contact, and my wife claims she does not know his last name or exact location, only his first name. Some have suggested she was the one being catfished, but she says no because she actually had video calls with the guy and he looked like the images he had previously sent her. The wife admitted to a lot of things to OP in their talk. For an example, she is a singer-songwriter, or rather, she is trying to be one. She has written a lot of songs, passionate, romantic, and sweet loving songs over the last year. I was touched by them before, thought they were about me. Turns out they weren't. Turns out they were about that guy. This devastated me. The whole relationship, my wife said, inspired her. She told me about how hard working the guy is, how he is going to a top university, how clever and bright he is, blah blah. She said she considers me lazy, not ambitious enough that I am good with the kids and all that, a decent provider, but that I am not really someone she sees as being capable of greatness. She likes the fact that I look good and our kids look good and that I have a lot of focus on their well-being. But she needs a life partner, not just a babysitter. This infuriated me because when I take care of my kids, I am not just a babysitter. I am their father and I am caring for them because I love them and I am responsible for them. She admitted she often thinks of going back to her own country and living with her parents. My in-laws are quite well to do and my mother-in-law has a lot of time on her hands to help out. My wife is not originally from the same country as me. My wife said she'd take the kids, follow her dreams in the city she studied in which she thinks will give her a better chance at success. She also regrets having married me in the first place. She says that she wouldn't have married me if she knew at the time how lazy I was. Now for the record OP is not lazy. He works the night shift 3 nights a week and also works during the days. In the evenings he's home and manages to cook at least twice a week. He does groceries, picks up the kids from school and make them sleep regularly. I handle the kids on evenings I am free to allow my wife to go to classes to develop herself. She is pregnant and I massage her at times for up to 90 minutes so her back and legs won't be too painful. I'm a hero to that woman and she does not realize it. Instead, she compares me to some other guy she's never even met in person. And somehow, I don't quite measure up because I didn't go to a top school. I'm not rich, I'm less ambitious, and this makes me lazy and useless. So now, I'm looking at my options. I'm 27 years old. I am in decent shape and I'm not a bad-looking guy. I'm a good father. I'm a good provider. I'm a good son and a loyal friend. I've been a good husband too, but apparently I'm not good enough. Well, guess what? Neither is she. She's far from sufficient. She's far from good enough. But I never say even 1% of the hateful and negative things she tells me, never. OP told her everything that has to be said. I told her that I do not feel respected, that I feel bad, treated bad, and tossed aside that I will not continue to support her and her dreams if this is what she wants to do. I also told her that she is not going to take the kids anywhere, that if she wants to leave, she can leave, but she will do it by herself. She is not a citizen yet of my country and I reminded her of the fact, whereas our kids are. I have taken hold of our kids' passports and now hold them with me as I write this. I am not letting go of them. If she wants to leave, she can, but it will just be her and the unborn baby leaving and she won't bring any of my stuff with her. That laptop she's been using to chat to the guy, it's now with me too. I bought her that laptop. I'm taking it back. I'm taking back control of my life. I'm still considering what further steps I will take, but 
Whatever she has planned, I'm not about to lay down and take it. Since telling me all this, and her hearing my response, all of us as a family have attended a family event. My wife pretended to be fine. She has stopped saying negative things to me. She's not on her phone anymore. I distrust her. But even though I have told her where the door is, she has not left the house either. I think she is backing down a bit by now. End of the story. Well, Lopi, marriage is a two-way street. If this is honestly how she felt, she should have talked to you first. Cheating is cheating, so she violated your marriage and trust. That's not love, man. I'm so sorry. You need to talk to her again, both about how her actions made you feel and the damage it's done. If you want to attempt to save the marriage, go to counseling, as it sounds it could do you both some good. I'm not a lawyer, but if you have proof of what she has done, save it. If you don't, see if you can get some in the worst case scenario. Good luck, man. Thank you all for listening. Please like, comment and share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video. Take care.